what we will do is we will validate the email address so in order to validate an email address the actual implementation is the construction of our construction of the regular expression we have to construct a regular expression for validating email address that is the uh, recommended and best practice but for implementation part I will try to implement for implementation part I will try to implement the methods that we have just discussed so let us understand the format of email An email consists of a prefix and a domain I think you know that now what is a prefix everything that is before at the red symbol is your prefix that could be a username it should have alphabets numbers and special characters that's one condition and after at the red symbol you will have domain like gmail.com yahoo.in and so on that's a domain so what we'll do is see what I'm gonna do here I will use the includes method and I will check if at the red symbol is there if it is there I will say it's valid but still it's not so appropriate so what I will do it I will also check if dot com is there if dot com is there I will if and at the rate and dot com is there then I will say that the email is valid okay by using those methods that are implemented let us go on to the screen here so let me remove all these things all these things now let me get a var here uh, maybe email is equal to document dot get element by id then what I'll do is I think I have taken the sb mm, it's a key okay key I'll put here key again we will create a button button element document dot get element by id I think I've created here as SB if I'm not wrong yeah it's SB adding an event listener button dot add event listener and this I will give uh, maybe click comma valid validator I'm gonna create this function now okay function function name validator open and close open and close here we go if so if email dot value email dot value email dot value dot includes an edited symbol and operator email dot value dot includes so no dot not includes I will say ends with ends with dot com if these two conditions are true like if that email like if that email is including an edited symbol and it is ending with dot com then only I will say document dot write email is valid I will also print what is that email email dot value email dot value plus is valid I'll say. okay else I'm just gonna alert invalid email uh, address refresh when save uh, refresh now so I will come here I will enter the email I'll enter anything it means ABC one two three at the rate gmail dot com so it includes at the rate it ends with dot com so it is going to return true let's see true means yeah is valid you got it Th this email is valid we got here what uh, means let me refresh you again what if I give some uh, some anything anything any other thing if I give anything without any at the rate 
means yahoo dot com like you got it right invalid email address even though it is ending with dot com the first condition is not satisfied we have and operator uh, both of them should be true before and that condition should be true after and that condition should also be true then only that is going to be executed otherwise not so that's how we have created a very simple email address validator i will tell you this is not the recommended way of actually creating a email validator there is some other way of constructing the regular expression constructing a regular expression that could validate all the emails not a specified one if you so keep on you supporting me i'll keep on making such videos and we have so many things to come in the future stay tuned thank you